guys welcome back to my channel myself varsha and in this video i am going to talk about folic acid and its role in pregnancy see among the different kinds of vitamins vitamin b group is very crucial it is a water soluble vitamin and it includes different types of vitamins and these are vitamin b1 vitamin b2 b3 we have b5 b6 b7 b9 and b12 we will in this video talk about vitamin b9 which is also known as folate in natural form and its main mate form is called folic acid good sources of folate includes dark green leafy vegetables beans peanuts sunflower seeds then liver seafood eggs and fresh fruits and uh, folic acid can be found in vitamins supplements and fortified foods now let me talk about the role of folic acid in our body as i mentioned earlier folic acid is very crucial for our body it has a wide range of roles first is formation of dna and rna let me explain this through this figure pabar teridine and glutamate together combines in the presence of dhf synthase forms dhf or dihydrofolate which is called folic acid and it is the inactive form means body can't use it yet then dhf reductase converts dhf to thf tetrahydrofolate which is also called folinic acid and it is the active form this form can be utilized by body after some several steps it forms nucleotides and eventually dna and rna is formed so this shows how essential folic acid is for our body because they are involved in the manufacturing of the building blocks of our body then the uh, folic acid is involved in protein metabolism metabolism of homocysteine then it is involved in production of healthy rbcs vitamin b12 is also uh, assisting here then another role of folic acid is folate is very critical during periods of rapid growth such as in pregnancy and fetal development then let's talk about the requirements of folic acid See, females and males aged 19 and above need about 400 micrograms per day of folic acid. Then, in pregnant and lactating females, the uh, daily requirement is 600 to 800 micrograms. Uppermost intake level of folic acid is around 1000 micrograms per day. Now, let's talk about the deficiencies of folic acid. See, uh, here we should notice that. Folic acid is found in a very wide range of foods. Therefore, it is very rare to find folic acid deficiency. But there are some conditions which predispose a person to folic acid deficiency, and we will talk about them. First condition is alcoholism. Alcoholism interferes with the absorption of folate, and it speeds up the rate of folate breakdown. Folate breakdown will be higher, or folate ka absorption be kam hota hai in chronic alcoholics. The next condition is pregnancy. Uh, see, as I mentioned before, folate is involved and it plays a critical role during the periods of rapid growth, that is, during pregnancy and fetal development. Therefore, pregnant females में folate का uh, uh, folate का जो need होता है, वो very very high होता है. उसी वजह से pregnant females face deficiency of folate, deficiency of vitamin B. The next uh, Uh, condition are intestinal surgeries which can lead to folate malabsorption or digestive disorders such as celiac diseases and inflammatory bowel disease then another condition that can predispose a person to folate deficiency is genetic variation see there is a gene known as the mthfr gene also called as methylene tetrahydrofolate reductase this gene converts a type of folate called as 510 methylene folate to active form that is folinic acid here 5 methylene folic acid and folinic acid and this is used by body well uh, there is more there is more complexity to it but uh, uh, i will share the link with you in the video description if you want to read about that then uh, well in people who have uh, some variations or mutation in the mthfr gene the folate will not be converted into active form and therefore it cannot be used by our body 
So now let's talk about the signs of deficiencies. Well, deficiency of folic acid can lead to megaloblastic anemia. It is a type of condition in which bone marrow produces stem cells that form abnormally large sized RBC. They will form very large sized RBCs and it can cause problems in the body. Then another uh, deficiency uh, of folic acid can lead to signs such as uh, weakness and fatigue, pale skin, hair loss, irregular heartbeat and mouth sores. Then uh, let's talk about some pharmacology related topic that is drug interactions. Well first is pyrimethamine. Folic acid decreases the effectiveness of pyrimethamine and uh, pyrimethamine is used to treat parasitic infections. Then another drug interaction is anti-epileptic drugs like phenytoin, phosphenytoin and phenobarbital. Folic acid leads to early breakdown of the anti-epileptic drugs mentioned above. So this reduces the effectiveness of the anti-epileptic drugs. See, methotrexate belongs to a group of drugs called as anti-metabolites and uh, methotrexate is a very usually popularly used as anti-cancer drug. Methotrexate is anti-cancer drug. So methotrexate blocks DHF reductase and therefore it leads to inhibition of DNA synthesis. As I discussed earlier here, uh, folic acid is converted to the active form folinic acid by DHF reductase. This is inhibited by methotrexate therefore there will be inhibition of DNA synthesis. Then let me talk about the antidote of methotrexate toxicity. Uh, it is folic acid and also the combination of leucoverin plus glucarpidase is also used. Now we will talk about the role uh, of folic acid in pregnancy. Uh, well, uh, deficiency of folic acid can lead to neural tube defects NTD, such as anencephaly and spina bifida. Now let's talk about the role of folic acid in pregnancy. Well. Uh, it can lead to uh, the deficiency of folic acid can lead to neural tube defects NTD mostly anencephaly and spina bifida uh, so for this before this I want to like uh, tell you something about early embryogenesis period uh, see in this diagram here the niche uh, portion is hypoblast which is the future endoderm the upper layer this one is the epiblast which is future ectoderm and the middle red one this one red one is the mesoderm the center blue part is the notochord which uh, remnants in adult is called as nucleus pulposus so the notochord secretes promoting factors and this form uh, this leads to thickening of some cells in the uh, epiblast and these thickened cells to uh, uh, lay flat and form the neural plate now after some time the neural flat the neural plate will fold downwards and in the center the depressed area will be called neural group the above folded area will be called which rise upward will be called neural folds okay then after that when it starts depressing more and more and folds more and more eventually the neural fold will have cells where uh, some cells will not fold and uh, they will uh, stay out and uh, they will come out like this structure this is called the neural crest cells and the neural group converts into tube like structure called as the neural tube in the anterior part where there is no fusion of cells there will be a remnant space this is called anterior neuropore at the posterior part it will be called posterior neuropore this is posterior neuropore and the anterior part will be the anterior neuropore anterior neuropore closes around 25th day of gestation and posterior neuropore closes around 27th day of gestation if the female has less folic acid in her blood or there is some other reasons because of which folic acid is deficient in maternal blood then anterior and posterior neuropore will not close if anterior neuropore 
doesn't close properly then it it is uh, the condition known as anencephaly and if posterior neuropore doesn't close properly its condition is called spina bifida so uh, the anterior neuropore forms a uh, see the anterior neuropore uh, forms the anterior part of our nervous system and the posterior one is involved in the formation of the posterior part such of the nervous system such as spinal and uh, this diagram is the example of anencephaly here we can see that uh, larger chunks of the cerebrum is missing the cerebrum is uh, not well developed and in anencephaly there are also cases of missing of the uh, bones in the in the back part also the, uh, there are cases of missing of bones in the side part of the uh, child so such babies are either stillborn or uh, these babies like uh, they Mm, and die within few days of birth then this is the case of uh, a post uh, posterior neuropore closing defect which is called as the spina bifida here like uh, the spinal cord uh, doesn't fuse properly that is why we called it bifida so guys this is all for today and let's meet in the upcoming videos thank you